This is a simple flashcard that I just created using Gemini AI. So in this video, I'll show you how you can create something like this with Gemini and hopefully this will help you learn basically about anything more efficiently. So to create a flashcard, let's navigate to Gemini.google.com and feel free to log in with your Google account. In this case, I'm going to be using the Gemini 2.5 Pro model, which is the latest model at the moment. But again, feel free to use any model that is available on your account. Here, to start creating a flashcard, we actually have to create something else. And in this case, we want to create a quiz. And only after that, we can create a flashcard with Gemini. I know that's kind of strange, but that's the only consistent way that I could find right now. So, for example, I'm going to be using this prompt create five quizzes about quantization in AI models. The topic is this one, but I have to create some quizzes first. So you can specify the number of quizzes. It could be five, 10, maybe even 25 quizzes, but I do recommend to keep it minimum because we are actually not gonna be using uh, those quizzes anyway. So after that, let's enable guided learning and send the message to Gemini. And just wait for this AI tool to actually creating some questions in the form of quiz that later we can ignore because we don't want to create a quiz we just want to create a flashcard but again this is the shortcut that i could find okay this creating three and it's about to create the fourth quiz and finally should be the latest question there you go again we can ignore this we can just click next 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 again and then click done and after that, Gemini will try to evaluate my performance, which is kind of weird because I don't actually answer any question, but it still gave me this zero score anyway. But again, we can ignore that. We just want to wait for Gemini to finish its evaluation process, and then later we can continue to the next step. All right. Now, nice work, even though it's actually not a nice work at all. But anyway, here we can finally click this button that says flashcards. Let's click it. Now, Gemini will start generating some uh, flashcard content from the previous topic or subject that we just created. So that's why it is very important to provide the topic or sub subject that you want to learn in this particular mode. Okay, check your internet connection. Uh, sorry about that. Let's, let me try again. So there was a technical issue that should not happen, but let's try it again. And hopefully there is no more technical issue. Okay, I can see that everything is running smoothly. Let's see the thinking process. So far so good. It is running perfectly normal. And just wait a couple more seconds. And there you go. So it is in the middle of the process of creating the, the flashcards and it will generate up to 25 different questions or 25 different topics. And you can also start uh, previewing it you can click some of these questions or these topics and it will reveal some a definition or description about uh, that particular topic and also there's this random button that, that you can click later after the flashcard all flashcards have been generated and there's also the option to enable this text to speech if you don't want to read everything you can enable this option the meaning of in eight in quantization and yes that's actually pretty good so you can click this button finally and you can randomly select any topic from the flashcards so that's basically how you can create flashcards using gemini ai so i hope you learned something from this video and i'll see you on my next video have a great day